Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to part three of Logical Redstone. Today we're just going to be talking about representation, or in other words, how do we store numbers and information in Redstone? To be more specific, representation using number systems. So the two number systems we're going to talk about is binary and hexadecimal. Before I go into either of those, I want to talk about our normal number system in a little bit more detail. That way the translation is easier. So decimal is what we use. It's called base 10. I mean, I don't really have to explain it to you. It's if, as long as you know how to count and you know how this works, you can only use the digits zero through nine. The only thing I wanna point out is that the uh, place values are actually always 10 to the something, right? So the ones place is 10 to the zero, like one equals 10 to the zero. The tens place is 10 to the first. The hundreds place is 10 squared or 10 to the second. And the thousands place is 10 cubed or 10 to the three. And as you get higher and higher places, it just, increases every time 10 to the fourth and fifth and the sixth so yeah you get the idea the orange is the place values here and so when we have the number 123 being inputted into base 10 what you're actually saying is take three multiply it by one get three take two multiply it by 10 get 20 take one multiply it by 100 get 100 and then 100 plus 20 plus three is my number it's 123 and you're probably thinking, yeah, that's like super obvious. But the truth is binary is just as simple, right? Because binary is another number system. Instead of being base 10, binary is just base two. So we can use a similar diagram to see exactly what's going on in binary. And this is it right here. This is our base two box. And so right at the top, it tells us what digits we can use. Instead of being able to use zero through nine, which is 10 different digits, we can only use zero and one, so it's only two different digits. And instead of the place values being 10 to the zero, 10 to the one, 10 to the two, the place values are two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, and two to the three. And it keeps going on just like the other one. So what that means is instead of having a ones place, tens place, and hundreds place, binary just has a ones place, twos place, and fours place, and obviously eighths place, sixteenths place, and so on. Instead of the place values multiplying by 10 every time you move to the left, the place values just multiply by 2. So if we want to know what the number 0111 is, we follow the exact same procedure as base 10. You take the number and you multiply it by its place values, and you add up the total, and that's your number. So 0111, well, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 4 is 4, and zero times eight is zero. Zero plus four plus two plus one is seven, which means that zero one 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 in binary represents the number seven. But who cares, right? Like base 10, base two, what does it matter what we use in redstone? Well, the main reason why binary has such a huge advantage is because redstone is already built like binary, right? Because it has two different states. It has off and on. And so if you think about off being zero, and on being one, it makes things a lot easier. Let's just get a little bit more practice with actually converting binary decimal because if it's the first time doing it, it's it's a little bit weird and it takes a little bit getting used to. Um, so one zero, this is just a binary number and the one is in the twos place and the zero is in the ones place. So we have one two and zero ones. In other words, we just have two plus zero, which equals two. And so every time you see one zero in binary, that literally just means two. And I think that's a really good point to focus on for a second. Like people always think that like, oh, like you can, can you read binary? Can you do this with it? Like, it's not magical. It's just a number system. If anyone tells you that they're, they, that they can like, you know, read binary text, it's like, no, you're reading text that is coded in binary and you have to know what the code is if you actually want to read it. Binary itself is, like I said, just a number system. Oh my god, how's that for a tangent? But anyways, let's do, uh, let's do the next one. So we have 1, 2, and 1, 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. And so 1, 1 in binary is 3. Now we have a big one. We have uh, no 1s, no 2s, no 4s, but 1, 8. So it's just 8. I'll draw it out here. 1, 0, 1. We have 1, 4 no twos and a one so four plus one is five all 
I'm not gonna do these last two on screen, but my challenge to you is figure out what they are. And the last thing I wanna talk about is just a property of binary. Like this property actually exists in every single base. If you have a, uh, if you have a regular number in base 10 and you shift it to the side. So for example, if you had seven and then you shifted to the left and made it 70, well, what do you actually do? You multiplied it by 10, right? So in base 10, every time you shift to the left, you multiply by 10. And in base two, binary, if you shift to the left, you multiply by two. And this, you can prove it right here. We have a five in the top row, one and a four. If you shift it to the left, now we have a two and an eight, which is 10. So we went from five to 10. And based off that, you also know if you shift to the right, you just divide by two. So we have eight plus four plus two here. This is 14. And if you move it once to the right, it becomes a four, a two, and a one, and that's a seven. And this section might seem kind of short, but I'm really just saving all the material for later because in future videos, I'm gonna be showing how to do all the cool stuff with binary, right? Addition, multiplication, division, like, you know, converting between binary and decimal and decimal and binary. So just wait for that. The other type of number system used in redstone is base 16. So base 16 is hexadecimal. And instead of having 10 digits to use, you have 16 digits to use. So we actually have to introduce six new uh, characters. And so we have the regular zero through nine, which still mean the same thing, but then we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. And I like to kind of roughly think of these as uh, A being 10, B being 11, and so forth, all the way up to F being 15. So let's look at our place values. And just like before, we take the base and we raise it to a power. So we start with 16 to the zero, 16 to the first, 16 squared, and 16 cubed. Here we have the number 2F3B being inputted into our box. And it's kind of wacky to think about if it's your first time, like seeing letters in a number, I remember being kind of <laughs> freaked out, like what, you can do that? But yeah, I mean like, like I said, these characters kind of roughly map to like F being 15, B being 11. But anyways, let's just put it into the box and see what happens. So we have two goes to two, F goes to 15, three and 11. And then we follow our rules. So 11 times the ones place is 11. Three times the 16th place is 48. 15 is in the 256th place, which gives that. And two is in the 4096th place, which gives 8192. You add these all up and you get 12,091. So 2F3B in hexadecimal actually means 12,091. So why would you use hexadecimal in redstone? I thought you literally just said that redstone is made as a binary. Well, it is made as a binary if you treat all ons as the same, because actually we have 16 different types of states, right? We have signal strength. So you can store hexadecimal digits as just packets of signal strength. And so if I wanna type something in here, we can type in one, you know, two, three, and it still shows up as 123. You just have to look at it a little bit differently. This is represented as a one because the first one coming out is a one. This is a two because the first strength coming out is a two, and this is a three. And you can even input other things as well, including the letters, because again, we have 16 different types of states. So let's go all the way down here. Let's do like F, D, E, right? 16, or I'm sorry, 15, 13, 14. So this number right here in hexadecimal is F, D, E. And the cool thing about hexadecimal is it's actually way more compact because instead of using redstone to only store two different values, we're using redstone to store 16 different values in one single piece of redstone, which is like amazing. And comparators also have some useful features that make doing addition, subtraction, stuff like that really simple. Like for example, this is a hexadecimal subtractor. I mean, it doesn't work for uh, negative numbers, but since comparators already have a subtract mode on them, like look how simple this thing is. It's just a comparator with a comparator into its side. So if you do this and this, we have 13 minus 10 and it gives three. Like <laughs> that's it. So that's all I got. Like I said, I'm saving a lot of cool information for later videos, but this is just to get you used to binary and hexadecimal if you've never seen it before. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.